They're trying to reach the town! This is a real fight, Crisbell. Time to use your new skills! Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then... Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Very good, Chris Bell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nicely done! Now give it your all! Finish it off! Well done, Chris Bell, but I'm afraid our work is not done here. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. There. That's two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us! <laughs> Look, Volcano! They broke our poor goblins! How adorable! Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Till I stop murdering them! I know, I know. I just want to play! Not my fault they're all so... squishy. Oh, and that's why we can't have nice things. Scratch? Amateurs. We can't take much more of this. Crystal, it is time. The crystals. Crisbell! 
Where are you? I'd better not keep her waiting. Crisbell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He... the frog... it took it! Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Chores. The kids in town get to go out and play. I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. to get my rose back. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. I still have to find that frog. Crispell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. That Marco is never home. He'll inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. Think about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. things. I don't know, Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Uh, 
Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, a top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. <sighs> Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Who's doing this? Actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Chris Bell. <gasps> what are... Uh, I mean, who... How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But... I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Wilhelm, answer the door! Go away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child! We have important business! Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog.
You're a child! Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispel, um, sir? Crispel has opened both crystals of time! Ridiculous! Impossible! Why, not even I've been able to... Yet, it has happened! No. No, no. No, there's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. And while my powers have led to my... youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future! Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. see in the future a tree it's growing from the seed I planted exactly a glow fruit tree to be specific but take care it will only grow if you care for it otherwise it will wither and die so if I do something in the present I can affect the future obviously has that not always been the case now however you have the ability to see these future possibilities so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... he was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day, you still have to prune these roses.
Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Oh. Crisbell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen?